Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon, coming at you today with my Necroz deck profile. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons are down below. Be sure to check out uh, check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and check out DavidAdamsCarWorld.com, where I get all my Yu-Gi-Oh from. Links in the description below. As well links to Facebook and eBay page, which is where you can find this deck if it's still available when this uh, video goes up. So, starting things off, got. Three Manju lets you grab any ritual or uh, ritual monster from your deck. Then we got three Senju lets you grab the ritual monster, I believe. Yes, ritual monster. And then we got two Danko Sekas because you know this deck relies a lot. I have on heavily on uh, special summoning, so this kind of helps with the whole uh, back row hating. And we got one Gen Releaser. This uh, help. This is for your Gen Lock. Uh, one Dance Princess, I prefer her over the uh, Sorcerer because once she's on the field, they have to respond to her before they can respond to your spell cards. So I really like her. Uh, just one. And we got three Shurits because you can use this for the entire uh, Ritual Summoning. So that really helps a lot out, especially from a uh, graveyard and hand. Then we got three Colossalists. Good. It's a really cool... Uh, this one lets you search out your ritual spell cards. Plus, it's got 2300 defense, so it's a little bit harder to get over. You got three Unicore. Uh, this is really good. Uh, it lets you to recycle any Necroz monster in your graveyard, but typically you're going to be summoning it off of Kaleidoscope. So, uh, plus, once it's on the field, all uh, monsters summoned from the extra deck, their effects are negated, so that's really cool. We're going to Three Bryo. Uh, this lets you search out any ritual monster, Necroz ritual monster from your deck, add it to your hand. Plus, well, if you do end up having to summon it, uh, it can bounce back uh, two cards that were special summoned from the extra deck, so that's really good. Uh, just the one Gung Near. This protects you from uh, being destroyed by battle or card effects for one turn. You can use it on your turn or theirs. Or, if you manage to end up summoning this one, uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you can discard any Necroz card and use its effect to destroy one card on the field. So that's really good. And you got three Valkyris, uh, really awesome, level 8, 2900 beater. Uh, if you're being attacked, you can discard it and banish a Necroz card in your graveyard and get the battle uh, phase for that turn. Also, you contribute uh, up to two monsters from hand or field to draw uh, one or two cards. So that's really good, helps out with uh, getting to your cards. Then you got two Trishula. It's so a level 9. Um, when this card is uh, successfully summoned, you banish one card from hand, field, and graveyard. If they do not have one in hand, or field, or in graveyard, you cannot use its effect. Plus, also, you can discard it to uh, prevent your Necroz monsters from being targeted. And the last monster for the deck is Necroz of Decisive Armor. It's a level 10, 3300 attack. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, it gives your uh, monsters a thousand point attack boost. Or if you end up summoning it and they have to set a bunch of cards, you can once per turn banish any card they have set. So that does it for the monsters. This is a pretty monster heavy base deck, but it does search a lot. Uh, main deck 3 MST. Again, want to get off your uh, play. So this is really helpful getting rid of vanities, mind drains, uh, and. Uh, Mistakes. Sorry, I had a moment there. So, run three MSTs. Run three Preparation of Rites. Uh, this lets you add any ritual monster from your deck to your hand and one spell ritual spell card from your graveyard if there happens to be one. So, it's a really awesome card. Uh, two Necroz Mirror. This one lets you banish from graveyard or tribute from hand to special summon one from your. That's uh, a special summon one monster. Then probably one of the, probably your best one, uh, Kaleidoscope, lets you summon from hand or from the extra deck. So you can send uh, monsters from your extra deck to special summon more than one at a time, which is a really cool mechanic. I really like that. And finally, to Cycle, uh, this lets you ritual summon using what's in your uh, ritual summon monsters from your graveyard, using what's in your hand or on field. So that's really awesome. Also, with all three of the mirrors, if you have no control no monsters you can banish one mirror and one necroz monster to add any one of the mirrors to your hand so that's really cool uh, then for the remaining cards one book of moon one book of eclipse 
one Rageki, and one Snatch Steel. Uh, all those are should be pretty self-explanatory. Reason is, you know, especially for the mirror match, you don't want to get yourself locked out. So this really helps with that. This helps you clear boards. This allows you to, of course, you know, take control of a monster. So that does it for the main deck. Uh, it's 45 cards. Runs extremely well. Nothing I would change about it. Uh, extra deck got 103, number 80, Cowboy, Castell, Abyss Dweller, Diamond Dire Wolf, Exiton, Lavalval Chain, uh, Insector Excabeetle, uh, Dragon Master Knight for the Kaleidoscope play, uh, one Quasar, one Star Eater, uh, Shooting Star Dragon, and two Herald of Arcs. Uh, reason for the Heralds is when they're sent, you can add any ritual, monster, or spell to your hand and keep your plays going. So now for the uh, side deck. And this is mostly based on player preference and based on the current meta. Uh, I've got my third Danko Seka in there. Uh, the two effect Veilers, mainly for mirror match. Uh, one artifact Lancia. I did have this at two, but I found I really didn't want to draw into more than one, so one's really good. Uh, you can discard it, and they cannot, uh, especially in the mirror match, they cannot trish you, so that's really good. Uh, two Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Uh, really mean to open up with a Unicorn and then play this, especially in the mirror match. Now they're locked out unless they search out a da like Dance Princess or um, the Sorcerer. So. Uh, the second Book of Eclipse, again, for the mirror match and kind of, you know, any kind of sort of locks that prevent me from doing anything. Uh, one Dark Hole, uh, one Soul Charge. Uh, the reason for the Soul Charge is even though I can't uh, special summon my ritual monsters, I still can grab, like, Herald and Danko, uh, not Danko, but uh, Herald, Manju, Senju, and still overlay those and make an Xyz play and still push for things. Uh... Two Mind Crush, very good card right now, especially everything that's adding to hand. Uh, Burning Abyss, Cleave Fort, uh, Shadals, and Necroz, and uh, Satellar Knights. Everything's adding to hand, so having this available is really good. Uh, two Decree, again, got to stop the vanities, got to stop the uh, mistakes from going off. That way, you know, you can still get all your searches and stuff going. And finally, uh, two Debunk for the Mirror Match. Uh, or really any match, but mainly for the mirror match. So, uh, yeah, so that is my uh, Necroz deck profile. Don't forget, like, subscribe button down below. Leave a comment with what you think of this deck. Um, be sure to check us out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon, signing out.